I was watching the news every day and I said, I've got to do something. Ed Miller's first disaster response a few years ago came right after Hurricanes Maria and Irma devastated Puerto Rico back to back. I'll never forget that one. It really stuck with me. Thursday, Miller deploys from his Goochland home to the Gulf, arriving in the hours after Hurricane Idalia ripped through Florida's coast and then inland. Some things don't change for Miller, even on his 10th disaster response. The interesting thing is I've done this a number of times, and every time I see the next one, it just breaks your heart. It, 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 when you see people lining up to get food uh, and, and then if they don't have shelter, they're trying to get some place to live. What I've learned is every disaster that I've been to is different. Every need, the needs generally may be the same, but the people are different and there's, there's always a different type of need. Miller will either work in feeding and sheltering or supply delivery. With a storm surge expected from Idalia, the wheelbarrows and shovels help people clean up their homes. If you settle around and let things get to you, then you're not going to be able to do your job. And the job is the key, because if you do your job right, you're going to help the people that need it. Miller is one of eight Virginians that will head down to the Panhandle area, although we're told that number is expected to grow very soon. There are 30 Virginians already in Maui helping out with the wildfire response there. In total, the first half of this year, the Red Cross says they responded to 15 disasters that each did over a billion dollars of damage at least. Miller is retired from a career in economic development, now using those people skills with the Red Cross. Obviously, the people are different, the subjects are different, but getting people together, convincing them that you can help or you can do something that they need done, I rely on my background to help with those things. Miller says he'll get his final marching orders and head down toward the Panhandle area on Thursday. Reporting in Henrico, Jake Burns, CBS 6.